Welcome back to our channel, where we share updates and untold stories about Catherine, Princess of Wales, and her royal family. Today, we bring you some news. King Charles' shocking decision regarding Prince George's situation has left Catherine in tears, signaling Prince William's ambitious future plans. Insider information indicates that King Charles' bold decision over Prince George has significantly impacted Prince William's overall strategy, causing Princess Catherine significant distress. According to the source, Princess Catherine is dissatisfied with King Charles' plan to enforce a rigid conventional standard on Prince George, who is next in line to inherit the British throne. According to a trustworthy source within the royal household, the Wales family is currently experiencing unease due to the young prince's upcoming encounter with a series of changes that may result in his separation from his siblings and the subsequent transformation of relationships within the royal family. The major changes from this bold action of King Charles. King Charles has implemented several significant provisions for Prince George. Prince George will initially be required to travel alone, irrespective of the circumstances. Furthermore, once he reaches the age of 12, he will have to decide whether to enroll in a boarding school. Additionally, the royal family will appoint a mentor to oversee his adherence to their rigorous criteria. They are making this effort to train George for his forthcoming responsibilities while adhering to established royal protocols. Personal travel. The royal family follows certain norms, like limiting food intake at official events and refraining from public shows of affection, among other examples. There is a specific and ominous restriction that prevents successors to the monarchy from flying together. This is done to guarantee the goal of this is to maintain the existing arrangement where Prince William is able to travel with all his children. However, we anticipate that Prince George will lose this privilege in the near future. The rule applies to all individuals in the line of succession to the throne, including William, his father, King Charles, and his deceased grandmother, the former queen. The provisions of this legislation suggest that Prince George might soon have to travel alone, without the support of his father and siblings. The limitation has a direct impact on those in the line of succession to the king, guaranteeing the monarchy's survival in the event of a tragic occurrence. We have taken prior measures to ensure that George adheres to this regulation as he approaches his 12th birthday. George currently holds the third position in the queue. Princess Catherine is now facing difficulties in attaining emotional fulfillment. Princess Catherine renowned for her unwavering commitment to her family, is reportedly struggling to choose between these two options. Her main focus, according to credible sources, has always been to prioritize her family and ensure that her children have a life that is as ordinary as possible. Her primary goal is to maintain a close-knit family unit, and the idea of Prince George being apart from his brothers goes against this desire. A period for contemplation and deliberation a recent assembly of the royal family, including King Charles, occurred at Balmoral in order to conclude their summer holiday. They are currently discussing potential strategies for Prince George. Princess Catherine is reportedly struggling to accept the decision because of concerns about the potential pressure it may have on her children's relationship, something she has always tried to prevent. Catherine is under psychological strain due to King Charles's choice to resume her royal responsibilities after the summer holiday. Both royal observers and experts have noted that this decision has the potential to impact the close family relationships that she values most. Experts' Perspectives Prominent royal experts have expressed their views on the matter, recognizing that the regulation, however appropriate, should not overlook its effect on the family's emotions. The royal family historian Sarah Bradford asserts that the long-standing safety measure of segregating Prince George from his siblings during travel has proven effective for several generations. Princess Catherine's struggle with this issue is understandable, considering the significance she attaches to maintaining familial unity. The last free care vacation for Prince George Following a discussion with Princess Anne, 
King Charles graciously granted permission for Princess Catherine and the children to spend the summer in Balmoral, providing them with an opportunity to relax and indulge in leisure activities. The family planned to make the most of this period of relaxation, which would be their last opportunity to truly enjoy uninterrupted time together before the implementation of the new constraints. Upon their arrival at Adelaide Cottage in London, the first phase of organizing Prince George's future will begin. Upon turning 11, the young prince will soon see significant changes in his travel arrangements and educational provisions. We anticipate that these changes will take place in the near future. Prior instances or circumstances might function as a foundation for comparing or providing guidance. For a considerable while, there has been a regulation that forbids heirs from traveling together. When Prince William turned 12, the regulation came into effect, preventing him from traveling with his father and sibling. This limitation was implemented. We have issued an edict to ensure the monarchy's continuity in the event of a catastrophe. Although airplane mishaps are rare, the royal family has already experienced such calamities. In 1937, Princess Cecile, the sister of Prince Philip, tragically lost her life in an accident. In 1942, Prince George, Duke of Kent, the absent uncle of the Queen, died. In 1972, Prince William of Gloucester, the Queen's cousin, tragically lost his life while actively participating in an aviation demonstration. These incidents underscore the importance of the rule regardless of its possible psychological consequences. Princess Anne is the main mentor for Prince George. Although one may be facing emotional difficulties, there is a positive aspect to the situation. King Charles and Princess Catherine have reached a consensus on certain aspects of Prince George's upbringing. Princess Anne, renowned for her straightforward manner and unwavering commitment to her responsibilities, will mentor Prince George who will also get advice from his father, Prince William. According to a trustworthy source, Prince George is quite satisfied with this mutual agreement. George is thrilled to have Princess Anne as his mentor. An insider said that he holds her in high regard and is enthusiastic about learning from her expertise. The primary goal of this mentoring program is to provide George with not only a robust support system, but also knowledge and skills that will greatly benefit him in his future career pursuits. Princess Catherine and her children have suffered a significant psychological impact due to the changes within the royal family, which is a pressing matter that requires treatment. While the rules aim to protect the monarchy, they could potentially cause challenges for a family that strives to maintain robust relationships. In the next few months, Prince George will have a challenging period as he adjusts to his unfamiliar environment. He will get guidance from his mentors and unwavering affection from his mother. The tears poured by Princess Catherine are evidence of her profound dedication to her family, and the difficult circumstances she is experiencing resonate with parents worldwide. The royal family diligently strives to maintain a delicate equilibrium between upholding tradition and addressing the unique requirements of its adherents, while the global community observes with empathy and benevolence. Thank you for watching the video. Please provide us with your feedback. And for now, we will bid farewell.